Let's not wait another minute. Let's head on to the cloud advocates, Vaseem, Johan, and Natalia, who are going to do the big revolution. Hey guys, I'm here PC building a static web app, and I really wanted to deploy it to Azure. And you know, I'm a great fan of uh, CLI tools. I heard that you are building a CLI called the SUA CLI, but I haven't found any documentation about it. I don't know how to get started. Can you help me with that? Hey, Natalia, uh, that's fun that you asked for it because we were just with Wasim about to deploy the new documentation website for it. So maybe uh, since we're all there, what I can show you is like uh, how to use the new commands directly. What do you think? Yeah, looking forward to it. Okay, so let me share my screen. Okay, can you see my screen now? Yeah. Uh, so let's start with the init command. As you can see, it's the one on my shirt. And that's basically the first command you may want to try uh, with your static web app. So I'll just type SWA init. And what it will do is generate a configuration for your project. So here I'm trying to deploy the docs. I need to choose a configuration name. So this just seems fine. And what it will do next is try to detect uh, what frameworks you're using. So it has detected that my project is built using DocuSaurus. Uh, it's based on React and Markdown, and it's great for creating documentation websites. It has detected that my project have a build command based on NPM, and it's also running a development server if I want to test it locally. So basically it looks fine. So I'll go on with that. Okay, and now it's telling me that I can use like these new commands. Uh, I, I can just try with SWA start to just test my website locally. But first I want to show you uh, that it generated like this file, the SWA CLI config.json file. And um, in that file, you can like find back all the information uh, it was like telling me that it has detected just before. So in case you make some change uh, in your project, you can just edit that file uh, later. So uh, now uh, that I have this configuration, uh, what do you think about testing locally if uh, the documentation website works fine? Yeah, that, that looks great. I, I'm also a great fan of automatic detection because it saves you so much time. Uh, but you know what would save me time? to share this configuration with my colleagues because we are collaborating. Can I do that? Sure. So basically, uh, this file is made to be like checked in in your project. So I can do just that. I can like commit this file in my project and say, uh, hey, I'm adding like the config file for Wasim to be using later. Um, what I can do uh, once I've committed that in my project is I can show you like how the SWA start command works. So basically, when I type SWA start, it will run like an emulation of the static web apps runtime, but locally, uh, since the documentation says that I'm using a React dev server, it first runs these direct dev servers. And then I can see that my application is available like at this URL. So I can just test that everything is working fine. And that's it. You're having like a, a look of uh, a preview of what's going in our documentation website. Amazing. So how does, how does it look? Really good. I love it. I love it. So Wasim, maybe you can like take over and show how to deploy uh, from there. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I can share my screen to show you guys how now we can uh, build and deploy our application to Azure Static Web Apps. Can you all see my terminal? Yeah, yeah, we can. Awesome. So after uh, pulling all the changes from Johan's branch, and now I have the same configuration file uh, that Johan has uh, created. So the next step uh, for me would be to build and then deploy my app. However, I first need to log in into my Azure account because I need a deployment token to deploy my app. So the SWA CLI got you covered because we have a SWA login command. That would basically allow to allows you to log in into Azure into your Azure account, and it would basically uh, grab any existing credentials from your environment, either from the Azure CLI or from VS Code, for instance. If not, it will just prompt you uh, to um, you know log in into your Azure account and then store those credentials into your uh, operating system keychain. 
So now I'm logged in. Uh, the next step is to build my app. So here I'm building the Docker Jarvis um, documentation site using the SWA, the new SWA build command, which basically grabbing all the information from the uh, configuration file that we've generated earlier, uh, thanks to the auto uh, framework detection. Now my site has been built. I have the um, inside my WW folder, uh, obviously, and then the magic command to deploy my app is SWA deploy. Uh, it will also get the configuration from the SWA CLI config JSON file. Uh, it knows where my output location is, where is the, basically the artifact uh, folder. It will also automatically log me into my Azure account or use my existing credentials if I have uh, ones already set up. And then it's going to configure my existing project either by um, asking me to choose an existing um, Azure Static Web Apps instance, or I can just create one uh, on the fly. So I'm going to create one on the fly. I'm going to call it SWA CLI um, blocks. And then it's going to make some change, like, do some checks on my uh, Azure, Azure account, create a project if it doesn't exist, and then deploy my code, my application into a preview environment. However, you can uh, change any stage and environment. You can either deploy into production or into a dev environment. And then once my app has been deployed, ta -da, I have my URL for my preview application. Now my app is deployed either to production or to a station environment. So wow. yeah, definitely awesome. Um, one uh, bonus if you want. So let's say, okay, you don't want to deal with login, deploy, build, and everything. So the SWA CLI got you covered because we only also support a global SWA command. So if you run just SWA, it's going to actually um, initialize your project. If it's not initialized, it's going to log into Azure. If you're not logged in, it's going to build your app and it's going to deploy it for you all in one single command. So how awesome is that? Yeah, it's really awesome. And yeah. I love that you never have to change the context. Like you can yeah. stay all the time in the CLI. Great job. I have everything I need to deploy my static application. Thank you very much. Awesome. Yeah, basically <laughs> we're looking forward to yeah, um, see uh, what you're all going to build and deploy with the Azure Static Web CLI. So yeah, thank you. That was awesome. This so, is the big announcement, guys. Swa CLI has gone GA now officially. Woohoo! Woohoo! Thank you, thank you. That was that was great. Like it's so simple, right? Basic, like everything that we expect. I, I don't, you know, we don't need to search a lot, even if documentation is present. Uh, exactly. That's very convenient. That's super cool. I love it. Um, and there was a link if you want to get started. I think I saw it from uh, the corner of my <laughs> eyes. <laughs> 